Hello, Georgie B back again. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. This card's sort of like a shed with the gardening outside. Um, I'm just checking what I did with these. I made this card using the stamp set Flowering Rain Boots and I used the boots, the watering can and the plant pot and inside I only used this die the little forky rakey thing that's what I think it's called and these I found in my box already cut I can't remember what die set they came out of but I thought I'd use them up like a sign on the shed so I've got two here in case I make a mistake a card I've got a card base of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths scored at four and one eighth and burnish it I have a piece of two pieces of white whisper white at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths one for inside and one for the top I have a piece of wood paper. Now this is out of oh I can't remember what set. It was carried over from last year. Um my sister and I bought the pack between us. It was twenty pound for I think it was twenty four sheets and we split the sheet split the pack. So this is what this is out of, so that's my shed and I've also got some scrap for the watering cans and whatnot. Right, this I think might need trimming down a little bit, it does. So this is supposed to be five and five eighths by Three, four and a quarter and it's supposed to go on there but once it's stuck down I will need to trim that little tiny strip off right to get started we are going to do this bit first so what I did got some old olive and my brush and a scrap not that it matters because this, in fact, yeah, this is all marked anyway, so I shall take it off after I finish this card as it's my last card filming today. And I'm just doing some grass. So and once that's yeah it's enough. I'm gonna keep that because I'm going to use the dotage out of Quiet Meadow just to some bits on the grass that will do put that to one side <coughs> don't need that anymore in fact we could in fact glue this on right to the top right to the edge and then get my large scissors and 
from that off. And then we could glue that now on there. side <coughs> and now we're gonna <coughs> sorry about that <coughs> we are going to stamp all our things we want so with mossy meadow I'm stamping the boots my green brush and some mossy meadow I am just going to brush over the boots right get rid of that with my cinnamon cider I'm going to stamp my two pots and with the brush I'm going to brush over just to colour them in I don't want to put pen on them That's them two done. And now with this and smoky slate, I'm going to do the watering can. Very light that. Wonder if I stamped it in basic grey. Let me see. Got a funny feeling I stamped it in basic grey because it was very light. was second generation basic grey so <coughs> we'll colour it in in smoky slate Smoker slate might need re-inking actually. Now we stamped all these out, we are actually going to cut them out by hand because I don't want um, the white edges on them. I 
I should have actually done this before. The reason I don't want white edges because they wouldn't be white due to me colouring them in with the brushes because I did go over the edge and they didn't look very good when I did when I did cut them out using the dies. So oh. Got to cut the handle out. Watering can with a proper handle. Get rid of that for now. So they are quite easy to cut out because they're all quite straight lines. Oops. One flower pot and Another flower pot. So that's all. all we need now is this little rake. Is that paper? No, that's not big enough. But that is. Get rid of that. Bring in this. And the two plates. Put that down. away in case I lose it. No, I don't need you. 
We even got a fence with the die. Little lattice fence. Right. I've cut this out. Now what I'm going to do is get my brushes again. And I'm just going to colour the handle in cinnamon cider. Like that. And then the brushes, or the rake bit, should I say, in the green. And then we have our small rake. So I'm going to bring this back. Oh no, we've still got this to stamp. Oh, happy birthday, so let's get that done. I'm using Versafine Onyx ink and we're going to stamp that. Just like that. And I did go over this just to take the whiteness off. That's all I want. Right. That's going to go on dimensionals there. So we need our dimensionals. Boots. Them to go there. Um, Done. Yeah. Oh, I put them on the wrong one. Stupid woman. Didn't waste them. Right. I'm going to just stick that there. No nails, that's why it's taken me a while to get these off. Broke my thumbnail. Right, it's my boots. This one I'm going to put uh, didn't need these two. Like 
this one I'm going to put there. That one like that. And the watering can I'm actually going to lay flat. under the boots so And the rake thing is also going to be flat. Yeah. <coughs> right, this is a great man's card because you know, a lot of men do gardening. And if you want to make it a lady's card, you could pop a flower, which I'd cut out. I don't know where it's gone. But I had a flower cut out that you could stick in the watering can. But I don't know where it's gone. What did I do inside this? Oh, my normal wishing you a wonderful day. It's annoying me now where that flower's gone. Right. And we have two garden cans, uh, two garden cards. And I hope you like them. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my cards, why don't you subscribe? And if you press the bell icon, you'll be notified of any more videos I upload, which is usually a Monday and a Friday at the moment. All I can say is thanks for visiting and I hope to see you again soon.